All right, well, you've produced and written big action films like Star Trek, Transformers, etc. So what prompted you to do a movie about ordinary people in realistic situations like people like us? I was just so damn tired of robots and aliens and outer space. No, I'm kidding. Um, this is the kind of movie that, uh, that's how my partner Alex and I always started writing. When we came out of uh, high school, we started writing movies like this about what was happening to us and our girlfriends and what was happening and our family. And, and then we took kind of this amazing detour into getting paid to do these great big movies. And that's wonderful. And we always were fans of those. But this is the kind of movie we always thought we would be making. And it wasn't until we sort of had the success of our, of our other stuff behind us that, that we were entrusted with making a kind of movie that doesn't always get made much anymore. You know, kind of a fun, funny but family drama based on real people without the gimmicks of a car chase or a gunshot or an alien or a laser or a robot, you know? And so trying those different muscles is just, it's a great way to just uh, exercise other parts of your storytelling ability if you have any. So you've worked with Chris Pine before yes. when you did Star Trek. Did you have him in mind right away for people like us? Well, when we first started writing, it was years ago, so we hadn't met him. But by the time we actually knew we were going to make the movie, he was the first call we made. We, we knew it had to be him. And he nailed it. Yeah. He totally did. Because it's a tough thing to make that many wrong choices in a row as a character and still be likable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he's so cute to look at, too. That yes, helps. that doesn't <laughs> hurt. That doesn't hurt. So talking a little bit about Star Trek, any could you give us like a preview of what's going on with the sequel? It's in space. A lot of it. Okay, we'll be looking forward to that. So you've collaborated repeatedly with J.J. Abrams, and you've written your writing partner, Alex Kurtzman, and Michael Bay. So what makes working with them so special? Well, one, we've been lucky that they've all been, you know, um, generous and open with what they know, and so we've been on the sets of all of our movies even when we're not producing them. So that's when you're dealing with directors who are that secure in their craft, who don't mind having the writers around and actually find it useful. That that's a sign of a of a of a of a professional who was willing to get a good idea from wherever he gets it. Mm -hmm. So that's always inspiring to, to to know that you can be open to other people's ideas and that's something you you know we try to learn. Obviously every director is different, but uh, uh, learning scale from them is amazing, but then learning also how even in their biggest moments they're looking for what is that little what is the close-up conveying of the characters? You know, they they try never to forget that, even if they're doing something gigantic and outlandish and gigantic, you know, huge action or in, you know, strange environment. It's always about the people, you know.